Hello everyone. I have a treat for you today and it's a treat for me too. I'm so excited. I have been contacted by a company called Fabula and this video is not being sponsored by them but I am introducing Fabula Coffee and it's because I am excited to try um, what they call a low acid coffee. Now, I don't know if there's many of you out there that have the same thing that I do, but I have what you call a slight hiatal hernia, which makes it very mm, uh, common for me to get heartburn. Okay, and so if you've all known or been aware that coffee is high in acid and can irritate stomachs, stomach linings and that sort of thing, cause heartburn. Actually, I think I'll leave this out here so you can keep a good eye on that while I read to you what I uh, can tell you and found out about Fabula Coffee. And this is someone else's review, not mine, because I have yet to try this. And you're going to be with me trying this. So, Fabula Coffee is a brand that focuses on delivering the purest coffee experience possible. And their simple, original brews are low acid, non GMO, USDA organic certified, and fair trade certified. Nice. Each bag of Fabula Coffee is filled with specialty coffee beans sourced from high-altitude small-batch farms. That sounds good, too. One of the big appeals of this coffee is that it's low, it's non-acidic and low-acid. It's gentle on the stomach, but deliciously strong on the taste, but... And one of the things we like most about Fabula Coffee is the fact that it's tested for mycotoxins, which is a specific type of mold that commonly grows when coffee beans aren't stored properly. See, they, uh, they sent me some decaf because I um, bounce off the walls with caffeine. So, um, Anyway, that sounds like a good thing, too. As mentioned early, f earlier, Fabula Coffee is low acid. According to many Fabula Coffee reviews, this low acid coffee has been given, has given coffee lovers with sensitive stomachs like mine an opportunity to drink coffee again. Yay! The beans are selected and roasted in a manner to help minimize the natural acidity of the coffee bean, making this coffee ideal for anyone with a heartburn, acid reflux, or general stomach issue. Fabula Coffee Reviews across the board have described this brew as incredibly smooth, deep in flavor, and of course, easy on the stomach. So. Doesn't that sound exciting? I am so excited. So, let's just read what's on the back real quick. We have roast type, decaf, dark roast, bourbon, pluma, typica, process, fully washed, organic coffee, and ground. I asked for ground coffee because I have, of course, these coffee makers. A hug and a cup have as many as you want. <laughs> and so this is specialty grade fresh roast. My husband's so funny, he says, why did you get two bags exactly the same? And I said, no I didn't. Because one is medium roast and one is dark roast, but they're both caffeine free. So, and low acid. Yes, I'm so excited about that. So let's brew us some coffee. Let me just start by, oh wait, I gotta do Wow, see they got these two little holes here in the package that you can smell, you know, it makes the air come through. Can you see those little? Oh gosh, that smells really, really good. I love the smell of coffee. Okay, 
So it says here, open on the other side. Let's turn it around. And I'm also excited to, um, <laughs> I have some leftover pie from uh, my Easter dinner, and so I'm gonna have some of that uh, while I drink my coffee and test it. Look at how smoothly that opens. That's nice. Okay. Maybe I can keep from shaking the whole table. Yeah, look at that. That came off real nice. And then it's a resealable pouch, see? Oh, gosh. Who doesn't love the sight and smell of fresh ground coffee? Ooh, can you see that? Closer to the microphone. Oh gosh. Mm -mm. Okay, so got that one open. Let's open up this one too because you see I have two coffee makers out here, and that's because I want to make both kinds. Yeah, this one actually smells a little different than this one. That's medium roast, and this is dark roast. So the dark roast definitely has a stronger smell. Fragrance, I should say. All right. That's ready to go. So now I want to change the camera perspective so you can see me making the coffee. Let's do that next. Okay, so you see I've got these two coffee makers and I'm going to put the dark roast on this side. Red represents whoa, and the tame black and chrome will represent the less strong coffee, but we'll just give it a try here. So, I don't know if you guys have ever really thought about the sound of coffee filters, but listen to this crinkle. I love that. So every time I pull out a coffee filter to make coffee, I just listen and crinkle a little bit as I go. I don't know, it's kind of weird. I don't know, but Eventually, listen to this. I'm so sweet. I'm so silly. Okay, so that goes in there. Let's get in now for this coffee maker here. Alright, I love this. I love this. It's so much fun. Okay, now let's see. Let's, uh, you know what, I'm gonna put the same amount of grounds in both because I think that it's still, um, how do you wanna say, uh, if one's stronger than the other, then the same amount of grounds ought to make the difference in taste. So, that's, I love that sound. Okay, I'm gonna make it as strong as I usually make it. Uh-oh, I put the wrong one in. I meant to do dark roast on the other side, so bear with me. I have to switch them over. <laughs> oh, Becca Boo. Okay. Becca Boodles is a nickname that my sister gave me growing up. And then it morphed to Becca Boo and Becky Boo, Becky Boodles, it's silly, but all right, let's get this out of my way here so I can just concentrate on just the dark roast. Okay, dark roast. I'm going to do, oh, I just got coffee under my fingernail. Two, three, 
three. And four scoops. I'm gonna put in four. That's gonna be a pretty strong coffee regardless because these this is a big scoop. This is let's see. It says an eighth cup. So let's see how that goes. Close this up. Coffee, super hyper fresh. Okay. Fabulous coffee, fabulous coffee. Very excited about trying this. Okay, let's do this one. Okay. This is the medium roast. Something else that I'm very excited about too is that. They have flavored decaf, and that is like my favorite kind of coffee. Okay, four big scoops. That's a lot of grounds, guys. So, oh, I think they gave me instructions, but I'm a rogue. I just do things my own way. It was recommendations, you know, so. Do your own thing. Okay, let's put this over here. And now I need to go get my water. Here we go. I guess maybe I could do both at the same time. Let's see if I can manage that. Okay, here we go. I've got the pots of water. Now, you may be wondering why is she making two whole giant pots? Well, that is because I want my family to try this too. Okay? Oops. And I will put the rest of it in the refrigerator. And I'll just be drinking coffee for days and not worrying at all about my stomach or getting heartburn or anything. Okay, so that one's ready to go. Let us pour the water in the other one. Also, if you make a coffee too strong, uh, What's really great is that sometimes I can just dilute it with water and no problem. I don't feel like, oh no, I made it too strong, that's fixable. Making it too weak, well then you have to go and brew your coffee all over again. These both being um, Mr. Coffee, my pots thankfully are interchangeable. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and select our brew strength. I want that to be strong. I don't want it delayed, so let's try that again. Turn that new. Okay, how do you do this? Oh. Okay, so it's not going to delay, it's going to go on, but I want it strong. Okay, that's a strong right there. Let's start this one, select on, and this one's already on strong. Perfect. All right, let's just let this brew. I don't know about you, but I love the sound of brewing coffee pots. So let's do that, and I will show you a couple things while that's going. Okay, so while that's brewing, I'm going to show you this cute little thing. I got these wooden spoons. There's a bunch of them. Um, and I thought, well, it's kind of ASMR. Love that. And I want to use it on my honey and get my honey out with that. Now that, uh, not long ago, I got uh, a jar of honey from my friend Leah in Greece, 
and the honey comes from Greece and it was fabulous. But honestly, because of that and getting so much into tea since my tea party, all that honey's gone. I ate every last bit of it. So this is honey from the Rickert Honey Farm and this is local here in Tennessee. Westmoreland, Tennessee, which is just kind of east of where I live. Yeah, so isn't that pretty? Their lid, you know, on the jar itself. Gosh, so pretty. But anyway, I got a whole set of these cute little uh, wooden spoons and who knows exactly what I'll use it for, but... Oh, isn't that interesting, the way the coffee pots kind of slow down together at the same time. I've got some crazy lively birds outside my kitchen window, so I am going to have to scare them away because they're, like, bumping right into my windows. <laughs> okay, be right back. Okay, so those birds are now going to be gone. I also wanted to show you the sweet book that I found at a uh, secondhand shop just the other day called uh, Prayers from a Mother's Heart. Ruth Bell Graham is the author. I do not know about copyright concerning this, but you see, when I have my coffee, I am typically in mind of what I want to say to the Lord in the morning, and I'm excited about this book because it's going to help give me thoughts about, um, my prayer time and that kind of thing. So, this says, Father, thank you that your son never told the little children to be like the disciples, but he told the disciples to become as little children. We can learn so much from our children when we're not too tired to learn. <laughs> so that's neat. That's just little quips. Um, and yes, I'm still a mother, so <laughs> I just had a really nice Easter uh, time with uh, Brianna and my my daughter Brianna and Abigail and my granddaughter uh, Avery, and just a really really nice sweet time. And Avery uh, did an Easter egg hunt, and we colored eggs together, and it was just really nice, really nice. So, let me just read some more from the back of the, the bag of this fabulous copy. It's so appropriately named, Fabula. I can't wait to try it. It says, I think I already read this, I'll read it again. Um, it, the roast type is medium roast on this side. Varietal Bourbon Pluma Typica, fully washed, process fully washed. Mountain water process decaffeination. And fresh roast, low acid, high elevation, small batch. Ingredients, organic coffee, and it's ground. And it says, distributed by Fabula Holdings Incorporated, North Miami Beach, Florida. Certified organic, so it's organic as well. You, gosh, you can't beat that. I'm excited. I am excited. What I did read about their company is that they um, said that there's a special process to uh, removing the acid 
that you can't let it process for too long. And so they, you know, they expertly make sure that they um, take the coffee out of the process just in time. I don't know if I'm explaining it exactly right, but there is a real art to removing the acidity of coffee. And so I was, I was uh, pleased to, to know that, that there, you have to be expert to, to do that. And I'm appreciating it very much um, before I even get to taste it. So I'm excited about that. Uh, I am going to, let's see, what color mug would represent the stronger brew? Wouldn't it be the dark brown? I think I will put the dark roast in the dark brown cup and the medium roast in my golden coffee cup. Yeah. Okay. Set this over here. sugar bowl. Uh, I don't need the sugar. Now I come to think of it. So let me make sure I have some cream. See, I do not even have any cream in the bowl. I'm going to use honey in my coffee and not sugar. So let's set this aside. Yeah, don't have to move it. It can just stay there. Let me go get some cream. Actually, not cream. I use half and half. Okay, I just went into the refrigerator and got my half and half out. Just put enough to, well, I could put extra, it doesn't matter. Because if I have too much, it'll just be put back in the refrigerator. But while I was in the refrigerator, guess what I found? Oh my goodness, look at this. Is that not beautiful? Leftover key lime pie. But we also have leftover cherry crumble pie too, so I might have to sample that as well. <laughs> what do you think, should I? Our coffee's almost done. This one went really much faster than this one. Even though I know I started this one later, it's still, I don't know. I just want to tap on everything. <laughs> so, you know, I didn't used to be a tapper until uh, I started my channel. Okay, but the sound, the sound of these cute little spoons. I just love it. It's a much uh, more gentle sound for stirring than uh, a metal spoon would be. Yeah. So, gosh, I could even eat my pie with it, couldn't I? I mean, it's a spoon. You could do anything you want, right? <laughs> Maybe I'll go get another one and use one for the coffee and one for my dessert. Yeah, I think I will. I'll be right back. I want to show you. This is how the spoon comes. Um, well, it's in a big package of like eight, ten. Now I can't remember how many there were, uh, but individually wrapped little wooden spoons. I just love them so precious. Precious, what a funny word for a spoon. But it is, it is precious. The sound of them. So the thing is, since I started my channel, um, I'm just experimenting with the sounds of everything and never really thought about wood, you know, wood on wood, but discovered it and I'm so thrilled. Um, and so I would like to do other videos that have wood sounds, but... Alright, let's move this out of the way, actually, because I need room to make my coffee. This right here 
is the medium roast. Let's try it. Now I'm going to fill it up to the top because I don't want to drink that much right now or waste it. Oh, it won't be wasted. Actually, come to think of it. Alright, let's see if I can get this honey jar out of the Oh, yeah. Oh, I've had that open before. Honey. <coughs> Pure raw. Well, look at that. I got it on the lid and I'm getting it. What a sight. What a sight. Honey is golden and pure and beautiful. I think it's the perfect addition to such an event and opportunity like this. Okay. Okay. Alright, now I cannot drink coffee without cream, so... I might not have made my coffee strong enough. I don't know. Let's try it. That was four big scoops, wasn't it? Okay, here we go. I've got to try this right now. Oh my goodness, that's so excited to say that that is perfect. That's medium roast, so I don't know. I'll have to do the other one to get a different taste and perspective. Wow, that is just the perfect strength. I cannot say that I notice that it's stronger or not stronger than regular coffee or anything. I cannot tell a difference, honestly. Let me set this aside while I make, while I make up my other cup. There we go. Alright, this is the roast. Okay. Let's go with some honey again. Oh, it was just wonderful. It was just sweet enough too with the amount of honey that I put in. Isn't that beautiful? Globular. Beautifully globular. <laughs> honey. Honey, yes, honey pie. Okay, I am so goofy sometimes. Okay, here we go. Cream. <laughs> it doesn't make any sound. Cream, half and half, is so um, thick and wonderful. See how that doesn't, it's not too loud, right? Oh, my family's gonna be excited about this coffee too, I think. I see my husband has, you know, we're both getting up in age, so he has what you call, hmm, oh, well, I guess, you know, I think it's called GERD or something like that. Yeah, but there's a few different names for that kind of thing where you can't eat too much at night, you know. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Try it. Ooh. 
Ooh, I like that even better. What did we call it? <coughs> Medium roast versus dark. It's called dark. It's like trying to remember. Dark roast, medium roast. Mm hmm. Mm. Okay, let me try this one again. Do a good taste comparison here. Ooh, that's a tough call, but I can tell the difference between the two. I can. Hmm, interesting. All right. Beautiful honey. I love honey. So, it was really wonderful for Leah to send me honey. I don't know if she thought about that aspect of things, but it was just a perfect gift for someone like me. All right. Now, let us sit and try some key lime pie. Oh, goodness. to the internet and looked up what kind of foods are traditional for Easter dinner. And it was interesting because very few of the things that they recommended were actually foods that my mom and I had growing up. So uh, I've been doing my own sort of tradition every year, and this year I thought I would do something different. Okay, I'm gonna take a bite of this because it's killing me looking at it and not tasting it. Mm. 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 Key lime pie, folks, key lime pie. Mm. I'm telling you what, that is like officially my favorite dessert right now. And then with fabula coffee in between each bite. Mm. <clears throat> to wash the palate clean, I cannot tell you how wonderful this is. Okay, I'm gonna set this here so it has an upfront view because I am now going to be officially partner with Fabula Coffee to try to sell it. They have a thumbs up from me. I am excited and I can think now I can stand behind it. Anyway, what I was saying is that when I looked up the traditional foods for um, Easter dinner, there were several that I had been familiar with, but several not. And one of the things that they said was lemon bars. And I went, lemon bars? How did that get to be a Easter dinner tradition? I don't know. Um, another bite. Mm. That's so crazy good. But I didn't want to do the work <laughs> of making lemon bars and I couldn't find them to buy. So I was just having fun, you know, with with this um, Easter dinner this year because everything's just, you know, kind of different than it ever has been in my life. And why not try something new, you know? Mm. I thought, well, okay, it's not lemon, but it's lime, and they're so close, you know, in um, a flavor, and I brought this up for the family for dessert after dinner, and everybody was like, whoa. Now, this is um, not that I'm trying to sell other companies or anything, because Fabula is what this is all about. But Edward's Key Lime Pie, it's insanely good. Insanely good. Mm -mm. And there's this thick, um, I like whipped cream on the top. Mm. So good. But 
washed down with this coffee. And folks, I am authentically trying this for the first time. I did not try it before. Uh, if I hated it, I was going to scrap this video and just not be able to represent it But because I will not represent anything that I don't totally believe in. But they have just made me a believer, total believer in low acid fabula coffee. Oh yes, but if I wasn't having key lime pie, I would sweeten the coffee a lot more just because that's how I tend to like my coffee. Lots of cream and either sugar or honey or maple syrup or what else? Uh, sometimes sweet and low depends on whether I'm on a diet or not, you know. Mm. But anyway, key lime pie and fabio coffee. I am in total heaven. Total heaven. Mm. Mm. So what I'm going to do next is I am going to order some of their um, flavored decaf and coffee because I love flavored coffee. Regular coffee is better with a, with a dessert or something that you're eating that has flavor already. But um, I love flavored coffee. And when the flavoring's already in something, you know, um, it's, it brews, uh, more, uh, it, the flavor gets more strongly brewed rather than, you know, adding your, uh, flavoring afterwards. It's just different. I don't know why. Um, and then, so that would be when I use a different, uh, sweetener besides honey or, maple syrup because those two flavors, they already have pretty strong flavors of their own. Happy, happy. My husband says, you're so happy when you're eating food. I think you should quit trying to lose weight. <laughs> Because you'd rather have me happy, fat and happy, than grumpy and dieting, right? Mm. Um, um, um. So, the only thing I wanted to tell you before I go is that I am going to put as much information underneath this video as I can. Uh, to refer you to Fabula Coffee and um, the way I understand it is you can get a discount in if you use the link underneath my video so if I have convinced you to uh, drink or try Fabula Coffee I would be very grateful if you would uh, not search them out on your own, but use my link that is in descriptions underneath the video because then you are helping me out quite a bit um, to make an extra dollar here and there, which is why I would love to promote this coffee besides the fact that it is very good. And I think I will probably do another demo video with the decaf coffee after I get it, now that I know that I love this coffee. And so, thank you, Fabula, for um, choosing me to represent your company. Um, I'm pleased to do that. And um, if you can, everybody, do me a favor and follow the link in descriptions. <laughs> well, I think I can turn this off now. Off. Off. Okay, I'm going to finish.
finish the rest of my dessert and my coffee offline, off camera. <laughs> and I thank you so much for joining me, y'all. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful and safe week. And I will see you in the next one.